Welcome to the public display area of the Museum of Fantastic Phenomena. The museum was founded early in the 22nd century to house the marvels of other ages, retrieved by our archivists through the recently discovered science of time travel. The artifacts and natural wonders on display here are of great interest to our scientists and historians who are still working to repair the damage done to the world's databases by the Great Crash of 2093. The museum also serves as a safe storehouse for things that could do great damage if they fell into the wrong hands. Thank you for volunteering for this mission, Archivist. As curator of the Museum of Fantastic Phenomena, I have noted your success in previous expeditions to acquire strange and wonderful objects for our collections, and I am confident that you are the person for our next foray through time. As you probably know, the Emperor Nero was one of the cruelest men ever to rule the Roman Empire. He is said to have begun his reign by murdering his own mother, and for 14 years he kept Rome in terror, torturing and executing anyone who displeased him. Meanwhile, he made a spectacle of himself by taking part in chariot races, gladiatorial contests, and the theater. Yet, despite his vanity, greed, and cruelty, Nero's subjects seem to have loved him. Why? We suspect that the harp he played at his public concerts had extraordinary power. Power to make the listener believe anything, and do anything. This harp will be a wonderful addition to the Museum of Fantastic Phenomena, if you can collect it. Unfortunately, news of our discovery has leaked out to Ram Axis, the evil computer virus who was spawned during the Great Crash. Ram Axis wants the harp for his own evil purposes, and he may try to stow away with your field agents on their journey back in time. His ability to take on any form he wishes will make his presence difficult to detect, so be careful. Once again, your field agents will be Victor Vector and his digital dog, Yondo. They are now in the time chamber awaiting your briefing. Good luck, Archivist. If you need further instructions, click on Help on the system menu. If you're ready to begin the mission now, click anywhere on your console monitor. Thanks for calling us in, Archivist. Yondo and I have always wanted to check out ancient Rome. Trouble is, uh, my Latin's a little rusty. No problem, Victor. My data caller will automatically interpret speech for us. We'll have to remember to check the database if we see anything written down, though. Archivist, you can help us by clicking on any Latin you see on the console monitor. And remember to check the caller for other interesting facts about ancient Rome. Okay, the time-space coordinates are set for Rome in the year 64 A.D. Activate time travel, Archivist! Italy, here we come! Initiating time... <laughs> they say all roads lead to Rome, Yondo, and here we are! Now all we have to do is find the Emperor's harp. Liar. Are you calling me a liar? No, Victor. The harp is a liar. I mean, it's not really a harp, but an instrument called a liar. Whatever. Beware of thieves. Keep right for the forum.
Excuse us, ma'am. Can you direct us to the Emperor's palace? <laughs> it's unlikely to let you in. You don't have a decent toga. But let me give you something to help you along your way. Something must be done about this tyrant Nero! Welcome to Rome, stranger. By your clothes, I'd say you've come from barbarian lands. Would you like any souvenirs for your loved ones back home? That will cost you a denarius. Thank you. That will cost you a denarius. Thank you. These streets are a real maze. We could wander around for hours. And I'm getting hungry. Is that a fish and chip store over there? Could we get two pieces of halibut with fries? Six pieces, Victor. And don't forget the tartar sauce. Please forgive the deception, friend. This is a Christian gathering place. The Emperor persecutes us because we refuse to worship the official gods, so we pass ourselves off as simple fisherfolk. But take anything you need. We practice charity here. I represents the number one. V is the number five. X is ten. L is fifty. C is one hundred. D is five hundred. And M is one thousand. Other numbers are made up by simple addition of these basic numerals. For example, V I I I is eight. 5 plus 3, and CXV is 115, 100 plus 10 plus 5. Note that when a number is constructed in this way, the larger units come first. If a smaller unit comes before a larger one, then it is subtracted from the larger one rather than being added to it. The numbers that are made up by subtraction are IV, 4, IX, 9. XL, 40. XC, 90. CD, 400. And CM, 900. Now, here is one complex example. M, CM, XC, III. This is 1,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 3. 1,993. It's a temple. That block of stone must be the altar where they offer blood sacrifices to the god. <laughs> Disgusting. It's not the religion of our time, that's for sure. But you know what they say. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Awesome. It's the king of the gods. The Romans call him Jupiter Optimus Maximus, the best and the greatest. There's the Circus Maximus. I'm not in the mood for clowns and trapeze artists. No, no. It's where they have the chariot races and gladiator fights. Excellent! Let's go in! There are some shops on the outside. Maybe we can get a snack first. Here's the entrance to the stands. I wonder how much it costs.
Don't just stand there. You're missing the gore. Let's have your ticket. You can't buy a ticket here. We're sold out. Your destiny is written in the stars. Give me a denarius and learn something that may be of value to you. Step right up! The next chariot race is about to begin. How about you, fella? Wanna try your luck? Just tell me which driver you're backing. Touch the catapult once to load it, and then again to release it. One, four, ten. Got it? Looks like a fitness club. It's a public bath, Victor. Most Romans would come to a place like this every day. here. Looks like the sewer. Should we go up the vomitory? The vomitory? Sounds gross. Doesn't that have something to do with orgies? That's a myth, Victor. A vomitory is just a passageway into a grandstand. Contrary to popular belief, the Romans weren't always pigging out. Spare me the history lesson. Let's just see if we can find Nero and his hypnotic harp. Look at the crowd! This place must hold a hundred thousand people! And all of them thirsting for blood. Dracula would have loved this place. Hey, isn't that the Emperor's box over there? Uh, 
excuse us. Watch my foot, you big barbarian! Uh, sorry! Get that mud out of here! <coughs> Pardon me. You make a better door than a window! Where do you think you're going? We just, uh, like a word with the Emperor. <laughs> Nero only has time for champions. Get lost and take that mangy animal with you. Uh, excuse us. Not you again. <clears throat> Sorry. Throw that mongrel to the lions. Uh, pardon me. Get your fat head out of the way. Uh, coming through. That should keep them busy while we reach in. We need a ready Arius out here. You in the white suit, come up here and get your trident. Gee, I was hoping we'd get to fight. Looks like they just want us to pitch hay to the animals. I don't think that's a pitchfork, Victor. Move along there. Spiculus is waiting for some sport. Put on a good show and the Vestals may spare your lives for now. <laughs> so this is what they send out for Nero's amusement. What's that you're wearing, little man? A Vestal virgin's underwear? <laughs> You talk, big fella. Maybe it's just because you've never taken on anyone your own size before. Well, take this, buddy. Sick him, Yondo! <laughs> Mixed reviews. I guess we won't be making the year's ten best. No. Some of the priestesses want him dead, and others want us to spare him. What should we do, Archivist? You have done well to spare the Emperor's favorite gladiator, Barbarian. Now come with us. Nero wants to reward you. It's Nero! I hope he's got the harp with him. And that lady, she's the one we met in the Forum. You have fought well, gladiator. Who are you? Victor, sir. I know you won. What's your name? Uh, Victor, sir. And this is Yondo. Hmm. You are an amusing pair, and I like to surround myself with amusing things. I'll be putting on a little entertainment tonight, and you may attend. Show this invitation at the palace door. Now leave me. The African beast hunt is about to begin. There should be lots of blood, and I don't want to miss a drop of it. So, you've been invited to the party. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Petronius, and they call me the Emperor's Arbiter of Elegance. Before I let you in, you'll have to show that you're a person of wit and learning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Show me where Carthage is. That's right. Rome was built on the river. That's right. As the saying goes, when in Rome, That's right. How did we get outside again? This is the peristyle, Victor. Most Roman houses were built around a garden like this. Nero's art collection. He must have pillaged the whole empire for these statues. Gee, that magic carp must work better than steroids.
Look at that headdress. Uh, they're not very big on animal rights around here, are they? Archivist, I just remembered that I forgot to feed the fish. Can we come back now, please? Looking for the hypnotic harp, are you, Vector? Welcome to the club. <laughs> Ram Axis! Quick, I need a weapon! That should do the trick. That slippery son of a silicon chip is dematerialized, as usual, eh, Yondo? Yondo? You big wimp! Archivist, make him get down from there! Well, now you've done it, Yondo. Turned a priceless statue into a worthless piece of junk. Do these Romans ever know how to party? <laughs> Glad to see you made it, Victor. Pull up a couch and peel me a grape. Thanks, Your Highness. I'm not the Empress. I'm the Emperor's new friend. Just plain Delta will do. Delta mode! That's me. I keep turning up like a bad penny, don't I? Or should I say, a bad denarius? What are you doing here? Did you follow us? Not exactly. I followed Ram Axis. He's after the hypnotic harp, just like you. But you're both in for a surprise. I'm the one who's going to get it. We'll see about that. But how come you're not on my side, anyway? Don't you remember that earth-shaking kiss back in the Jurassic period? Oh, that was millions of years ago. Haven't you forgotten about all that? I don't forget so easily, Delta. Lighten up, Vic. We can still be friends. And as a friend, let me clue you in. Something's going on tonight. If Nero starts playing his harp, plug your ears. Now, if you don't mind, I'll get back to the party. This is quite the party. I didn't think fireworks had even been invented yet. Victor, those aren't fireworks. The whole city is ablaze. Say, this reminds me of something. Didn't Nero fiddle while Rome burned? That's right. Only it wasn't a fiddle, it was a harp. Liar. Please, don't start that again. <gasps> hey, speak of the devil. You bite his butt, Yondo, and I'll grab the harp. Please, Victor, no violence. Let's try a little diplomacy. Ah, my friend the gladiator and his cuddly companion. I promised you an entertainment tonight, didn't I? Look out there. Once Rome has burned to the ground, I can rebuild it as a city worthy of Nero. And the Christians will take the blame for starting the fire! <laughs> So, you've added arson and slander to the list of your crimes, you diabolical dictator. It's lucky for you we're here to ransack history and not to change it. Now hand over that harp. Victor, that isn't quite what I meant by diplomacy. I don't like it when people speak to me like that. I like it better when people obey me. And you will obey me, just as all the others have. Good idea, Archivist. It's not working! It's not working! Oh, I hate this stupid harp! Did he throw it into the flames? No! There it is! Can you reach it? 
Not before I do. Oh no, not Ram Axis again. How many times do I have to hit him over the head? You'll need more than brute force this time, Vector. I can't reach it. Looks like you're gonna need my help here, guys. Just a little further. Oops. Ah! Thanks, Delta. I don't know why you decided to help us, but the museum will be grateful. Not so fast, Victor. I already told you who gets to keep this thing. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> hey, you two! Be careful with that! Oh, no! Archivist, take us home! Well, at least our mission was a partial success. Now the harp can't be used for evil purposes. Yeah. And the next time Delta shows up, we'll be able to make beautiful music together.